What's going on everybody? Here we are. I'm your boy Dev out here chilling day one of the stay in the house coronavirus day. So here we are on YouTube giving me something else to do. So we're going to start it off like this. I think on for every Friday we're going to mix it up and start talking sports. Um, me personally, me, I play football, played football, I coach football. So football Fridays for me is what it's going to be. We'll talk about other sports as well, but right now we're going to get into football. That being said, I am a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan, so you can imagine how stoked I was to find out we got Tom Brady. Wasn't really a huge Tom Brady fan because I was just sick of him always winning. I got tired of the Patriots winning everything. But I am excited to have Tom Brady as a quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, me personally, my opinions as far as Jameis Winston, even though he made a lot of errors and stupid mistakes, I, I like Jameis Winston. I'm a fan of Florida State. He was a quarterback of Florida State for us to draft him. I was super excited about it. You know, he still has some work to do. You know, Jameis really never had that that top veteran quarterback that he could learn from. You know, we just kind of threw him into the furnace and said, figure it out. So here we are starting over. I know Jameis is a free agent right now, but me personally, I think he'll be grow up to become a great quarterback. And I really feel like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should keep Jameis. You know, if he's okay with taking a lower pay cut, possibly keep him. Let him sit behind Tom Brady. Let him learn the game of football. Uh, not only will it help him out, it'll tremendously change his game. But then you also have a veteran quarterback that you can keep for the future. That's pretty much groomed his way around the league on his own. Now he's learning the 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 cream of the crop from one of the best to ever do it. You know, so. I really feel like Jameis should stick with the Buccaneers if that offer is on the table. You know, I'm not in the war room with them to find that out. But if that offer is on the table, Jameis, if you ever see this, take that offer, man. Don't let your pride take your career to another path. Yeah, you have a great last season, but let's build for the future. Build for your financial future, you know. And, and with that being said, you learn from Tom Brady. You sit behind Tom Brady. You learn for a season or two, and then, boom, you take back over. And now you're that veteran quarterback with a little bit more mental, you know. Cut off the picks. Learn how to do the, learn the game without all the interceptions, pretty much. Um, cool thing, Godwin. Respect to Chris Godwin. I mean, the dude made the number 12 look great. He balled. He did what he had to do. But... Like he said, Tom Brady is the GOAT, and he is willing to give up the number 12 to Tom Brady, which I would too, you know? If that was me, hey, you want my number? You the guy throwing me the ball. Have at it. No arguments there, so much respect to, for Godwin for that. That's that's awesome. Um, next on the list, I see, you know, we got to rebuild this O-line and D-line for Tampa. I know we re-signed uh, offensive line. Well, we picked up offensive line, man. It was it Joe Hag, if I'm correct? Which is cool, but I know we definitely need more O linemen. Uh, me personally, I feel like in the draft we should be able to go for uh, the lineman from LSU, uh, Lloyd. Hold on, Lloyd Cushenberry or something like that. About six three, three hundred twelve pounds. Think he'll fit in perfectly well. Put him at a good offensive guard spot. Solid dude, good feet, strong as an ox. I mean that whole LSU O line. Me personally, you can drop that whole line and it can change any franchise. So just to get one of them to fill in, that'd be awesome too. Great. But if we can get at least him and possibly one other good lineman to come in and uh, help on the offense, that'd be dope. Tremendously, especially with having Tom Brady because you know you got to give him time. But Tom Brady also likes to dink in quick passes. That is his game, you know. So somebody that can block a little bit more stable. That'll be awesome for him. Um, also, I like uh, Jaderic Wells. He's another lineman who um, plays really well from Alabama. Uh, also, can put him inside, you know, the offensive guard spot, center spot probably. I don't know about all that, but I know the offensive guard spot definitely helped solidify that, that wall on the inside of the interior of the line. Fix that, lock it down, and, you know, we, we, we got the tackles. Knock it out, and let's make it work. As far as the defensive line go, we, we're bringing back our same defense. We just need to pick up a few more pieces maybe, and that'll help us out tremendously. Um, I'm talking to some of my homeboys. I know they don't really care too much about Clowney, but, you know, I like Jadavian Clowney is a, a great athlete, a great football player to bring into the program. I mean, if the Buccaneers want to pick him up, that's another asset they have on the defense. 
as well as Clay Matthews. Clay Matthews is not the same Clay Matthews he used to be, but if you come in and you can break him off the bench and give one of the starters a, a break, you still got a guy that's going to be just as intense coming off the bench that, that is as that starter's in there. And I think that'll be great as well because you don't miss a step, you don't miss a beat if you bring somebody off the bench that knows what they're doing already. Um, next up, um, I want to talk about guys being drafted. I'll, if you guys watched Last Chance U, Chauncey Rivers is pretty much a DN. He can play inside, outside. He can play DN. He can play D-tackle. You can move him across the board on the defensive line. And I really, really like Chauncey Rivers. And I really feel like the Buccaneers should draft Chauncey Rivers because that is another guy that can help us on the defensive line of the ball. Defensive side of the ball as far as D-line play goes. Because he can play, like I said, that defensive end spot. He can also play the defensive tackle spot. You can move him around. You can flip him. You can do stunts with him. He's fast enough to cover and move around. He's fast enough to drop back. He's fast enough to get a good pass rush. He's strong enough to be a great run stopper. That being said, I really feel like Chauncey Rivers would be a good pickup, the addition to the defensive line for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, I was hoping we get either Todd Gurley or Melvin Gordon, but as, as of today, they both – are gone, as you know, Ty Gurley to the Falcons and Melvin Gordon got picked up today, so that killed that off for me. But I figure we'll draft a, you know, a decent running back or a really great running back, somebody that can jump in right now and help us. That's the whole key to the draft. I'm hoping football season comes back around this year and we don't get stuck because of the coronavirus, but if football season does come back, I really feel like we need to get a, a running back that can jump in right now and help out, get a good rotation going. Uh, I like our receivers, maybe get another young guy to start working his way up, but not really jumping on it right now. Um, definitely because he's another defensive back. I was hoping we picked up like a veteran defensive back to help because we got a young team in Tampa, like a very, very, very young team. You know, outside of DeMarcus Ware and Tom Brady, the, the next guy is, the linebacker, right? I think he's like eight years. Other than that, everybody else is two, three years of rookies. So we have a really young team. So I really feel like defensive back wise, we should pick up a veteran guy just to have that leadership, that camaraderie, somebody that's been there and actually knows the game of football. Not just any veteran, but just a guy that's available who could come in and not, you know, just I want to say mentor, not coach, but like more so of a mentor type, men, a mentor. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, um, that's really all I got as far as the Bucks go. You know, like I said, we need to continue to fix our O-line, continue to fix our D-line, as well as find a solid running back. So we'll get that together. We'll do what we need to do there. Um, other than that, this is my channel. This is what we're doing. See you guys every Friday for Sports Talk. And the rest of the week, we'll do what we need to do. Okay. It's okay with me.